There's no quitting in this Birmingham City team, Troy. Uh, two all on the night. What was your take on that one? Uh, yeah, like you say, no quit. We've showed resilience again um, against, you know, probably the best football team we've played against so far this season. I thought they were really good. They believed in their uh, their style of play. And, you know, they were good. We, we started off well first, what, 15, 20, pressed them really well, scored a great goal with Scotty. And I think we kind of came off it a bit. Um, I don't know, maybe we got a little bit carried away thinking, like, Joe, we're going to go out and win here just because we got, we've got used to winning, which is probably a good thing. But we can't go away from the fundamentals, which is the hard work which has got us here. They scored two goals. We'd probably argue they were poor, but they were good finishes, obviously. Um, felt a bit like Blackburn in the sense of like tired minds and uh, possibly could have you know, done better in the build-up to it. But we uh, got in at half-time, collected ourselves, dusted ourselves down. As you said, there's no quit in this team and we kept going. I thought we were probably the better team in the second half, but they, they did really well at slowing the game down and keeping the ball so we couldn't really get much momentum. And then we put the big dog on in Juki and you know, me and him caused a handful and thankfully Dion finally won a header from a, from a set piece and it dropped to me and similar to like Sheffield United really, managed to manipulate it and score, yeah, so what, was that three or four yards out, but take the goal and I thought we could go on to win, but we need to, we need to be better, but uh, you know, it can't be too critical because again, keeping this unbeaten run going and that's, you know, that's all that matters. Yeah, real battle tonight between you and the Swansea defenders. The yeah. fact that you're saying that there's still more to come mm -hmm. shows where the group is and, and what they want to achieve. Yeah, we've got a point, we've come from behind. Mm -hmm. Still a lot to do and still more where this team could go as well. Yeah, 100%. And, um, you know, we're, we're none of us are the finished article. I always, you know, start with myself and there's still, still more I need to do, more I need to contribute um, and tidy up on. But, you know, we can't sit and go, oh, well done got a point against Swansea, that's that's a good thing. We uh, we felt like when we did against Millwall, if we would have if we'd have beat them and then beat Stoke, it would have been a great week. But we know we have to back it up now with, with a win because the draw and the draw or draw and the loss isn't good enough for what we we expect. And we um, we're still using the fuel of you know everyone says we're relegation favourites, so we'll take that and, and keep working. But I think after 20 games so far, we we've earned enough respect that um, you know we we can. We can start taking our game plan to people, start believing. I say if we could be a bit better on the ball, start understanding um, you know, that the moments we're, we're a big team, so set pieces are a massive thing for us. And tonight our set pieces were poor, so that we have to work on um, and just just fine tuning the detail. But again, like I say, that starts with me, starts with the gaffer, and then it trickles down to everybody else, and um, we we have to influence it. I'm, I'm the gaffer's the main man, and we just try and influence his. Uh, his opinions onto the rest of the team and obviously when you've been fortunate enough like myself and Rudds and a few others to play at the, the top level you understand the demand and now we're getting what we had 19,000 here last Friday we're sure we'll have a big old turnout this Friday there's a demand there's an anticipation now from fans that we're going to win that's great but also at the same time you have to deliver to that you have to not go under you have to get bigger with it so hopefully we can uh, keep building and take the positives I sound like a moaner I'm probably sure I'm not I just, I just want us to be the best that we can be. And if we can do that, and even if we fall short, we know we'd give it 100%. Yeah. Um, tough tie on Friday. Quick turnaround. Who have we got Friday? Sunderland, there. Yeah, be a very different game, yeah, won't yeah, yeah. it, to the yeah, one we've seen well, tonight. Yeah. Tell us about turning it around and how you set up quickly and, and getting back up for it again. The job, isn't it? That's it. Um, you know, the reason we're the last ones in the whole building, do to start the recovery process now, ice baths, massages, got the leggings on, uh, go home, start all again, good food, good sleep, and just get rested up and go again. This is the demand of being a job, this is the sacrifice of being a professional footballer. Um, if you ask my missus and kids, they'll probably be annoyed with me for the next two days, but it's part and parcel of the life, isn't it? Um, the championship is relentless. Uh, we're trying to be relentless, but it's not just us who are tired. Swansea had to travel, Sunderland will have to travel. They'll be tired. Um, it's just who, who mentally is up for it. And if we can keep that, you know, that focus, that drive, I fancy us to beat anyone in this league. I really do. You're enjoying it this season, enjoying being part of this group and, and what's being created. Regardless of results, mm -hmm. things are changing here, isn't there? Of course, yeah. Um, a lot of that goes down to management <coughs> um, and obviously guards as well he's working his, his tail off and, and the management are working the tail off but I think the players are as well and the staff we're all buying into it 
that's the biggest thing with any project you have to buy into it um, personally yes I have enjoyed it I've, I've said before like if it would have carried on how it was last year I probably would have called it a day it wasn't it wasn't enjoyable um, and that's not a dig at anyone that's just you know sometimes things don't work out I just feel that where we're at now you can see it Juki comes in on Saturday. It's like he's played the last five games. He's, he's bang at it. Neil Etheridge celebrated with Rudds, like Harley coming back in. The, all the lads are, are, are part and parcel of it, and no one feels left out. Uh, are, are people frustrated? Yes, of course they are. But it's it's all for the benefit of the team now. And I feel like in years gone by, just talking as a fan, it, it's felt like individuals. Where now it's like we're all in it. Fans are getting back on board. We need more. We're going. You know, they want more from us. We want more from them. Um, and we've got to make this a big, horrible place for people to come. You know, when they're taking corners down here, give them hell. Let them know. You know, you, you're in our world. This is our, this is our place. And to win here, you've got to be really bloody good. And um, when we go away, the wave support, especially Saturday, I thought was unbelievable, bouncing and I'm proud again. Aren't you? Everyone's proud of the club again and proud to be from Birmingham. Um, and that's the biggest achievement I think so far. Um, 20 games in. Well, we've got about another 30 odd left. Just got to keep grafting, and uh, we will, we will do that. And as long as there's life in the old dog, yet I'll be still uh, kicking around and trying to make us better. But I do want to say, as you're leaving, and you don't like me saying it, he's leaving. Top man, top nana, and uh, we appreciate you. And wish you all the best. Uh, we appreciate all the hard work, especially out in Portugal, because it was up, wasn't it? And uh, wish you all the best with the fire service. And you're always welcome back, mate. Part of the family. Big shift. Well done, mate. Cheers all.